Hey guys, how's it going? So here, welcome to a brand new series here on my channel for FIFA 14 of the team. I thought this one would be quite fun to do. It's literally going to be all of my progress. It's the series that I mentioned in yesterday's video and I think it's going to be called Start to Finish. Let me know if you like that name or if you have a better name. Leave it down in the comment section below because I'm not too certain but it seems right for now. It seems like an absolutely fine name just for the beginning but it's literally going to show you every single step of my ultimate team journey so you guys can hopefully learn some things some training tips some methods some tricks to get you started on the web app and when the game comes out so i'll be doing this for as long as i possibly can so i really do hope you guys do enjoy if you do please hit the like button if you guys could hit over 500 likes that'd be absolutely incredible and i'll make sure to get another episode straight out tomorrow without a shadow of a doubt so thank you so much for all the likes and the comments that this video may get but seriously i really do hope you guys enjoy this series because i had a lot of fun on the fresh start series the series that i did at the end of fifa 13 actually but i really wanted to get a fresh start and learn the basics again just so i knew what i was doing for this fifa and it's really helped me out because i've learned some things doing that series and i hope you guys have as well but it's going to be pretty interesting and if you have any ideas what you'd like me to show some squad builders some trading tips literally anything please leave it down in the comment section below because I'm more than happy to show you guys pretty much anything but at the moment you saw I got the starter packs I'm just listing everything in my clubs I think I can get a little bit of profit for all. and I've got 222 coins there's not a lot at all and I bid on a French centre forward for 150 coins now that works quite well silvers non rares if you can pick them up for 150 coins the ones that look good you're quite likely to make a profit it's a really simple method and I only recommend you do it if you've got under 500 coins like literally the first thing to do on a new account if you've got about 500 coins i'd really recommend just finding some silvers for 150 coins and seeing if you can pick them up because this french center forward he plays in liege one and he looks really good 65 shooting as well his passing isn't amazing but he's got decent pace and decent shooting and we do manage to sell one of our non-rare golds which is awesome because he goes for 350 coins and at the start that's not bad at all we're trying to capitalize on all of these things now the things that i recommend you to sell are the non-red goals that you can see here because they're not going to go for much they're never going to go for pretty much anything it's not worth keeping them in the club and you may as well try and make a little bit of profit whilst you still can whilst people are still trying to make some profit on gold and all of them do sell bar two which is awesome and if you notice i actually put up a club badge now i didn't expect this to sell at all but it did for 200 coins and at the start that is completely vital you can get 200 coins out of so many things because people get impatient and think oh 200 coins isn't much at all and they just buy it now and it's really awesome we managed to pick up a who's clip for 500 coins now the reason i bought him is to sell him on quickly because the hype around him on fifa 13 was really strong because he had an amazing partnership with elianusi but i'm trying to go on the fact that people might not remember that and they might try and buy him so that they can actually get a good deal but in reality it's kind of not a good deal and i'm being a little bit sly so hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit out of him simply because people know of his name as a silver we also pick up a silver keeper now this is quite a good little thing people are always always going to need goalkeepers regardless of any team you're always going to need a goalkeeper and silver keepers are probably going to go for a little bit if you do save them and hang on to them but i do decide to sell him on because i'm trying to get as much profit as i physically can at the start now i don't think he's going to go for 1500 coins simply because he's not amazing he's not the best keeper he's not in an incredible league that everyone wants to use if that makes sense but i'm trying my best just in case someone wants him for a ridiculous price for the first time you list a player i recommend at this point during the web app period just to list them for kind of a crazy price just in case someone actually buys them for a ridiculous amount it doesn't do any harm worst comes to worst you just relist them for a little bit cheaper and you still make some profit don't leave it for too long because it may drop below the point you bought him for but just give it a try maybe someone will pick him up but we do get our daily gift which was a mini gold pack and we don't really get anything exciting but we're gonna try and list everything up anyway just in case we can get a little bit of profit because that is always nice and a few of our things do sell our french right mid cells and our bronze keeper 
which is pretty awesome because I didn't actually expect to get anything for any of those players. So we're going to have to list our Brasilva keeper up again, but hopefully he shall sell. I really hope you guys like the sound of the series just showing you everything that I'm doing. Hit the like button if you have, subscribe if you haven't already as well. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave any comments down below. Take care, have an amazing day, and goodbye.